What's going on, guys? It's your boy Sleazy here, and we've got the Borderlands trailer. And I expect a ton of hate in the comments because I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed for a lot of reasons. And I feel like this shouldn't be called Borderlands. It should be called the geriatric episodes because why the hell are there people in their 70s in this movie at all? Like, not only have they changed the characters, from what we can tell in the trailer, they made them geriatric. I've got, I've got a ton of complaints. But of course, like anything, Polygon's going to come out and be like, this is going to be the greatest thing ever because Borderlands. And no, it, it's not. It's, it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. Like, every person they have cast... And I can probably make exceptions for Tina because it's kind of something you don't want to throw a 12-year-old into. But anyway, digressing. Roland's terrible. Tannis is terrible. Lilith is terrible. I just... I, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So I'm going to play the trailer just so everybody can see what I'm talking about. Because this... I had to suffer through this, so I think you guys should have to, too. Played a little too soon. All right, let's try that again. And I haven't even gotten to Claptrap yet, but I'm sure when you hear Claptrap in the uh, the trailer here, you're going to be as disappointed as I am. Let's make that 1080. And let's, let's go. Uh-oh. God, I hate this planet. Would you look at that? A ladder! Unfortunately, my design doesn't facilitate this type of... Well... And if you heard that, that was Jack Black as Claptrap when the original voice actor for Claptrap said he was available. Would have done it. No, we have to hire Jack Black. Why is Jack Black in everything? He does not do everything well. Jack Black is a mid-actor at best. He can be funny. I will give him that, but he's not a great actor at everything. In the Mario movie, he wasn't a great actor. He did not fit Bowser. But this is Borderlands, so I'll digress back into this one. But look there. Jamie Lee Curtis, what, 70-something years old now? And then Kate Blanchett's, what, mid-60s, late early 70s? Like, it's, it's a geriatric fucking episode. And then Kevin Hart is Roland. Like, Roland, the brolic black dude who would absolutely beat your ass, is now midget Kevin Hart. The casting's terrible. And like I said, I'm not a fan of how, what, who they cast as Tina, but it's... They can look, they can pass for a little older, older than 13. So, well, well I'll, I'll give them that one. I will absolutely give them that one. Just gonna ignore that one. Destiny awaits. Legend has it that there's this massive treasure hidden in some secret vault. And if you go hunting for it, you'd better take any help you can get. Because it's on the weirdest, most... And... I don't think... I don't know, Borderlands I don't think fits in a live action. Like you can't you can't get the feel of Borderlands with its art style into live action. Like sure, some of the cover colors are vibrant, but that's not what makes the aesthetic of Borderland. Like you, know, you can see it perfectly here. They they tried to make it vibrant, but it's it's lacking. It's it's a movie, it's a video game that doesn't need to be made a movie. Dangerous dumpster fire of a world in the universe. God, I hate this planet. What is that smell? Piss wash gully. Ew! Put the window up. I don't want to! Roll the window up! Roll the window up. Yeah. It's pee. It's pee. Why do you think it's called piss wash? How did it get the name? It's in my mouth! <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, that music's 100% going to get me copyrighted, so we'll try and do a little pause right here. But yeah, no. It, watching a 70-year-old do something that someone in their late 20s or early 30s should be doing, it just kills the entire thing for me. Like, I would understand if the characters were 70 or something, but they're not. They're not. Like, why do we need to hire... 70 year old geriatric fucking patients to play the role of a 20 or 30 year old why why are we doing that there are plenty out there you cannot tell me that these two women were the only ones willing to take that role like no do you know how many people have died okay i think i've proven my point we're not watching any more of this this is this is terrible Yeah, I'm just, I'm at a loss for words. Like, the only thing I can think of is that they're trying to push women at any age can do anything. And it's not going to work because nobody wants to see geriatric patients on a fucking screen. And again, Claptrap sounds terrible. You know what, hold on, let me see if I can find... Because I'm sure there will be somebody in the comment section with it. It sounds good to me. Oh, well, let's let's nuke that right now. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. You probably know that a game like Borderlands doesn't just make itself. As a matter of fact, it's the combined effort of many talented individuals. Oh, hey, Steve. How are the kids? Hello. And again. The voice actor for the Claptrap said he was available, and instead we got Jack fucking Black, who probably cost more. Like, how much is hiring Jack Black gonna raise the budget of this movie that's probably not gonna do great, because A, it's a niche video game, if we're being completely honest about it, it's a niche video game, it doesn't matter how many copies it sold, it's still niche in a video game movie. Who's gonna go on and see this other than geriatric patients? Because we know the feminists don't turn up to watch movies. <laughs> Madam Web is very much proof of that. Or the Marvels is another great example. But I, I, I'm genuinely confused. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments section why they went to Borderlands the geriatric episode instead of just not making it. That, I would have actually preferred that. Not making the Borderlands movie than what, what we got now. But guys, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section. While you're there, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this one out. And until the next one, guys, be easy like Sleazy.